Uh, John, on the safety side, uh, can you can you sort of outline uh, Wadak's role within that and what that entails? Um, and and just That's before good. we jump into that, it, where does that? Uh, we do a lot of episodes like on the mining side for, for, through mining now, and, and safety is just this huge, huge. We produce a show that's all almost all safety. Um, what is that like in the agriculture sector? Is it is it the same? It, what is the approach first within the industry and then? from Wajax? Certainly within the industry, from the farm uh, to the processing and production side, to the transport, to the retail locations, safety is paramount. And uh, we look at it from a number of different perspectives, but the underlying focus is on the individual. So in the farm environment, it could be uh, hearing protection, it could be eye uh, protection, it could be hand or uh, footwear protection. Again, protecting the individual, uh, working from heights, for example, fall uh, um, resistant applications, uh, harnesses to going into production facilities, uh, depends on is it a, um, a slaughter uh, process, is it a baking process? Each of these individual uh, different processes within food and beverage have unique safety features. Again, relying on the individual. When we go into the processing side of it as well, it is on the safety of the product being produced. Mm -hmm. And the industry is very highly regulated. Uh, many people would be familiar with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency and their requirements with regards to uh, contamination uh, in that process. And uh, we can uh, spend uh, se uh, several sessions on just on the food processing safety aspects. So on the individual, it'd be cut resistant gloves, as simple as that, or face protection or uh, other uh, hand protection or head protection uh, activities. On the product side of it, uh, again, from a cross-contamination, whether it be a biological cross-contamination or a physical dust or other particle, uh, the products that we bring to the market allow for proper cleaning. Uh, so in the food industry, uh, processing industry, it's typically high pressure water, high temperature, and using a variety of different uh, chemical solutions to ensure that the food zone where it comes in contact with the, the food product being processed is cleaned properly. And then the equipment going into that part of the process has specific requirements from stainless steel applications or from technical such as IP69, which is a regulation uh, with regards to ingress protection, whether it be a gearbox, whether it be a motor, whether it be a bearing, uh, that when the washdown activity takes place, that the water is not getting into the internal operation of this equipment, and we're not getting contamination from the lubricant or other components in that aspect. Continuing on uh, throughout the process from uh, proper packaging, uh, proper forklift, uh, material handling processes and different aspects, it's a very uh, diverse uh, topic of safety, uh, certainly within any industry, but certainly within from farm to retail location. 